of regular season championship and the tournament title. The players now meeting the media in Auburn Hills. Get your comments on what you saw that day in UCLA. Well, I, I saw a whipping. Um, they really came to play that day. They really did a number on Maryland. And um, we have to really pay attention to what they did to Maryland and what could happen to us. Well, um, like each and every team in this tournament now, uh, deep down in this tournament, everybody's going to come out with that fire that U UCLA came out on, on Maryland. Um, I guess it just wasn't Maryland Day, you know. Uh, they were surprised by their great and most talented UCLA team. And UCLA got the best of them. And um, we understand that. We, we watch film on them today. And we know what they're capable of. But um, we're going to play them like we played everybody all year long and uh, go out there and get our game onto the floor and make sure it doesn't happen to us. In the back on the middle. Pat Forty from the Louisville Courier Journal. Marcus, uh, talking about your coach, Eustace. I had heard that uh, he refers to you almost exclusively as Pfizer, as opposed to by your first name. Secondly, I also heard that, that he's a bit of a pessimist, like a real warrior, leading up to games, thinking the team's not prepared. Is that accurate? That's, that's completely accurate. Um, you know, him referring to me as Pfizer is. There's nothing, you know, out of disrespect, nothing like that. I mean, a lot of people call me Pfizer. It's just one of my names, and, you know, I answer to it like I answer to Marcus or, or any other of my names. But uh, he's a coach that's, that's always, you know, got his mind on the game. Um, no matter what the talent level of the team is, uh, he take each and every each and every team, you know, the same way. We go out there and play each and every uh, team the same way no matter what, you know, no matter if it's – you know, UCLA or, or some other, you know, lesser team in the nation. Friend on the right. Yeah, um, Michael, this is your fourth straight week on the road. The, the Texas trip, you didn't go home, and then Big 12 tournament, and then the NCAA uh, first round, and now this. Does some fatigue set in, and what's that like trying to be a student at the same time? Well, you kind of get tired of going home for one day, going back to the apartment, and, you know, and then having to repack and leave that next day, you don't get to get a lot of stuff done. And, you know, it, it's, we're a little behind on school, but, you know, we're working hard, trying to keep up. You know, you know it's real tough. We've been on the road for the last four weeks, as you said, and um, we just have to stay with it, you know, keep our mind on the books when it's time, but when it's time for basketball, really focus in. Middle right. Uh, Marcus, uh, Philip B. Wilson, Indianapolis Star. I'm wondering, uh, wondering last weekend, when you see uh, Arizona get beat uh, by a half-court team, when you see uh, Stanford go down to a team that make them slow it down and play half-court, I'm wondering in your mind, you think, okay, UCLA, we need to be patient, half-court, slow it down, not let these guys go crazy on us like they're going to everybody else. Well, like I said before, um, we don't change our game plan for nobody, you know. We wouldn't change our game plan if we were playing against, you know, the Los Angeles Lakers. We're going to have the same game plan no matter who it is, uh, UCLA uh, or anybody else in this tournament. Um, you know, we, we tend to try to go out there and make teams play the way we want to play. We, we want to be the team that uh, sets the tempo and, cont and controls the tempo all game long. We identify what um, other teams do to teams that they've beaten to uh, – you know, come out on top of that game. And we're just, we, we try to change their game plan. We don't change ours at all. In the back, in the middle. Harry Atkins from Associated Press. Um, I, I, it seems like you guys are maybe the new kids on the block because UCLA has all this history. They've won all these championships. Do you sometimes feel like the new kids on the block that has something to prove in this tournament? Well, we just go out just play. We don't worry about what how people perceive us or anything. Um, we've been lacking respect all year, and we're still fighting for it. But that's, we just go out and try to get our game on whatever court we're going to play. And then after that, you see if the respect's going to come or what people are going to think about you. Middle left. 
Uh, Michael, along, kind of along those same lines, a lot's being made right now out of the fact that UCLA is 1H straight. You know, they're probably the hottest team in the tournament. But, you know, if you look, you guys haven't lost in quite a while either. Um, do you guys feel like you're just as hot as UCLA is right now? Well, you know, um, to say that um, UCLA is hot because they won eight games, you could. Um, we have, I think we won nine games in a row. Um, um, I think 28 of our last 30. But, you know, it doesn't matter who's the hot team. Um, that's why you play the game. Because if it was all about streaks, then, you know, you know, no team would ever lose that, that wins one or two games in a row. That's why you got to play it in between the lines. And that's why we're playing tomorrow. Final question for our student athletes. Okay. Michael, Stevie, Marcus, thanks very much. All right, the Iowa State Cyclones facing their grilling from the media in Auburn Hills, Michigan, the number two seed of the Midwest region. We'll be back in a moment as our coverage of the news conferences, the day before news conferences continues with Iowa State head coach Larry Eustachie.